Mm. I don't think at this age anyone needs guidance. Mm. But mm. if you now claim, like the mm. way some people always um, try to corner me on, on social media, they have macaroni, now you with the look, we believe in you. I will say, I, I cannot give you a name. Because I myself, I do not trust this person mm. or any of them. They are politicians. They are, apart from being politicians, they are human beings, like you and I. Absolutely. So, I, and by God's grace, this platform that I have, you know, this platform that um, God has given to me, which I always say I believe was given to me to do this work we are doing, mm. to advocate for a better Thank nation, you. is different from using it to campaign for politicians. So I want, I don't, I don't want to be boxed into a corner where I'm not, I'm, I'm saying, go and vote for this person. And then I cannot come back and say, oh, look at it. Mm. Uh, no, 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 no. It's good to say, these are the, the, the indices, me, the factors. This, this will be the template on which I will use to vote for a credible leader. Mm. Physical state of mind, mental state of mind, alertness, um, account, um, accountability, record, the things he or she has done. You know, these are pointers. This is what I will continue to give you. But don't expect me to give you a name. No. Because that will now result into me saying, oh, oh yeah, everybody go and vote for this person. I won't use my platform to do that. Absolutely. No, I don't want to use my platform to do that. And honestly, we appreciate that because, I mean, when you start supporting somebody, they start saying, ah, you have yeah. money somewhere. Absolutely. You have paid him. Absolutely. And, and then you will not lose the, the value I that know. you are trying to pass. I know. It, I, I, it, will be, it will be hypocritical of me to say that I do not know that I am being held to some certain standard. And that some people do look at me in a way, mm. you know. So um, I am very careful of not, not, to, not to lean to any side, and especially not people. misleading them. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, hello, hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. But, but, I mean, but I'm sure these people are offering you money here and there. Hey, come, to, come to our camp. Uh, in fact, <laughs> you need an accountant. <laughs> in fact, my friend, sometimes I share some of these ridiculous offers with my friends, and you know, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. Mm. So that, that's to say, to say the very least. And what I now tell myself is if a politician is coming and saying, or there are people, um, agents of the politician are coming and saying, oh, yeah, we want to give you so so amount. To, why do you need to be offering money to people to, to campaign for you? Mm. All, but, but what ye, all this money that you are spending, how are you going to... It's investment. It's investment. It's investment. How do you get, how do you, how do you get a return? It's investment. So, Hello. we need, we must realize. Hello. Okay. Hello. Hello, yes, who's there, please? Good evening. Hello. Hello? Hello, good evening, sir. All right, we lost that call. Yeah. Yeah, good evening. Yes, good evening. Hello. Yes, what's the name, Hello. please? I can hear you loud and clear, sir. Yeah, good evening. Good evening, sir. What's the name, sir? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yeah, good evening. Good evening, sir. My name is Richard. Yes, Mr. Richard, yeah, welcome to the show. Uh, thank you, my brother, Mr. Macaroni, and uh, the other young man. Mr. Latif. I'm, I'm, enjoying, I'm enjoying your conversation. Thank you. Hello. Okay, please read the volume, of the, your, the volume of your TV set, please. Yes, it's only if the Nigerians will understand what you guys are saying, because I think a lot of Nigerians don't even know that they are suffering in the hands of the government. Hmm. Okay? Hmm. If they realize that they are suffering, they've been suffering all this way, then they can vote wisely. Because I don't think anybody that will offer you money to vote for him has something good to do for you. Exactly. They have just paid you like exactly. 5,000, giving you 5,000 or 10,000 or bag of rice. They have paid you off. So if you can show that, if the youth especially can show that, because Nigeria right now is, 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 is getting bad on the youth. 
Where am I this old man? I hand me not. We are talking about the youth. The youth should stand up and take back the country. Yeah. Yeah. Because they don't, youth have not got any benefit from all these all these all these government, all these people that are living on. They have, they have not they have never benefited the youth. They are not dealing themselves, security is dealing themselves. Mm. Taking care of themselves and their family. They don't care. But when it is time for election, they want to use the youth to get the power. That they will see you to suppress the, to suppress the youth. Mm. I think this time around, the youth should understand that they are really suffering. And until, they, until the youth understand that they are being suffering in the hands of these people, I think they can't do well. Absolutely. So my for the youth, yes. which I will still tell Mr. Mavoy to please get hold of some of the political groups so that they can be able to write in these guys. Let them know what they are doing. Mm. Please. Thank you, thank you very much, Mr. Richard. Thank you. Because this 2020 can only make Nigeria or break Nigeria. So we should vote wisely. Exactly. We are voting for, for, for buying of votes, giving us some peanuts, we are voting like that and nothing has happened. Exactly, exactly. Thank you very much, Mr. Richard. Thank you. You know, what is said is what, what, what I always say. He said something, he said, he doesn't think Nigerians are suffering. And I, there's a theory that I've coined. I call it a curse of survival. Hmm. There's a curse of survival in the country. Let me write, let me write that down. <laughs> Nigerians pride themselves in even saying that, ah, if you feel it live for Nigeria, if you feel it live for anywhere. Ah, now Nigeria now, you don't know us with the suffer, with the also every day. Our government don't abandon. So there's some kind of pride that shouldn't be mm. about the state of the nation. And Nigerians are saying, since we can survive this, we can survive it anywhere. No, it's 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 wrong. You don't that's not what we deserve as citizens. In the country, that's not what we deserve. We're accustomed to hardship. Well, yeah, we shouldn't be. We should, what, what we should be accustomed to should be good education, good roads, constant power supply, a, a thriving economy. We shouldn't be surviving. Nigerians, every, every, morning, every time you wake up, ah, one more, another, another day, day, make I go survive, sha. No, we shouldn't be some surviving. We should be succeeding mm. in Nigeria. The system has been rigged against the average Nigerian. Such that, by, by, by virtue of your qualifications, you cannot succeed. You still need to do like this. Tell me one thing you need to do in Nigeria that has not been corrupted. Hmm. Your driver's license. If you want to get driver's license, mago mago. Hmm. Every single thing. If you want to get an international passport, mago mago. NYSC posting in call, mago mago. Um, you want to get a job in one um, um, uh, government, one ministry, Mago Mago, you must know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody. What are we saying? Your qualification is just not enough. It's a culture of corruption. And it needs to be brought to an end for things to be better. Mm. So Nigerians must understand that there are certain things that they deserve. They deserve good life. Security. Is not, and you find some... some Security officers, some police officers, some um, high-ranking officials behaving as if security is a privilege for Nigerian people. No. It's a duty. It's a responsibility. We, we now have to pay for our guards to travel out of the state. For security. So that, that well, you, it, it now looks as if, oh, they are doing you a favor. Ah, you should be happy. Oh, you should be telling. If you go to uh, another state, you don't. You don't know the way they are killing people there. Mm. You that you are here, you better use your head and, and, and be thankful. Is, is that is that what we should be dealing with? Certainly not. No. So uh, together, everyone, we must understand what we deserve and work in. If we understand what we deserve as a people, we will not set. We will not be settling for what we are settling for, mm. for right now. Mm. All of it's us. It's about self worth. Yes. Knowing what you want. Knowing what you want. As a Nigerian, As a knowing what you deserve, what you are entitled to, mm. you have rights. You have rights. The average Nigerian youth is being harassed, is being oppressed by the system. You cannot, if you have a fine car, it's a crime. It is. It's a crime. So you find people who are a part of the corrupt system frustrating those that are not even in, in that system. system. Because they believe that they have been, they have been done, done by. They have been hard done. Mm. 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 
You know, so I, I strongly believe sometimes too. I always say that um, if to say we don't stop for where people don't stop for where everybody go get sense. Yeah. If you should get to a point where a politician is bringing rice to you and you are chasing him back with his rice, are you joking? You want to come and give me Congo of rice or Congo of Gary or what do they call that thing? For four years. That's how they do. They, they come once, then they disappear. So because at that time, the only thing they want is your vote. And that's why, and look, at education is another problem. If our leaders have been doing what they ought to do and our education is good, this message, this shout we are shouting, it will be easier. It will be easier to preach the gospel. Yes. Because sometimes we are saying one thing, some others are saying Same another thing. thing. They, they just follow the, whatever their uh, leaders tell them. They just do, they just follow. They don't care. Sheepishly. So every, if, if, if we all operate on a certain level and all Nigerians are saying, look, and they begin to look at this thing that truly, we deserve good education now. Why is the child of the minister or why is the child of the government official in, in Obodo Ibo having good education and your own child here is suffering? And you are defending that same person that is, is, is keeping you impoverished. Mm -hmm. These are the issues. These are the issues. To be honest, it's very quite heartbreaking that we are, we are where we are as a nation. Yeah, they always give me a dick. Yeah, but I don't get a dick like this. Every time <laughs> I talk about, about the situation of the let's, let's take the call, please. Hello, good evening, please. Hello. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Uh, I'm, I'm on an um, um, streaming uh, live. Say it again, sir. Uh, please, can I contribute? Yes, please, sir. Hello? Yeah, hello. Please turn on your TV set, please. Turn it down, please. Your TV. Uh, my, my, name, my, name, my name is Henry. All right, Mr. Henry. Please go ahead, Mr. Henry. Listen, listen, listen to, the, to the phone. Don't listen to the TV. Uh, uh, my name is Henry. Please go on, Mr. Henry. Listen to, um, Listen to um, I want to... Um, uh, go on, uh, sir. Mr. Mr. Henry, please uh, go on. Mr. McCurley, for what he has been to, it's not a for the youth. Sir, Mr. McCurley, I will congratulate you and I appreciate your effort. Thank you. Because continue to protect you and give you more knowledge. Amen. Like you're able to fight and able to uh, impact the youth Amen. on how they can go. Amen. 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 What, I, what I'm trying to say is that uh, I was here, I was by, there's a place I went to go and buy food. Hmm. And there's an elderly man hmm. that came. The man came to buy food too. And the man, the, the person that he sent me food, that told uh, one of these, those guys that want to buy food that they should wait. That they should wait for that elderly man. The, 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 the guy there told the guy that he sent food that, no, I will not be here. He said, what is food for this elderly man? All those things have stopped. These are the people that put up into this mess. Hmm. That is not sell food for this. Sell food for him, that he cannot get this kind of thing again. What I'm trying to say is that if you are not happy the way the, 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 country. the country is going, we are not happy, we are not happy with the way the country is going. To see some people glamorize for other people that you know that they, they, they have they, they have destroyed this country, put this country into a big mess. You see some people still clamoring for them, for them to come back into power. You don't think this it don't, it doesn't work like that. I don't know why uh, I don't know why some people are just you, you don't look at the way people come out in massive doing that answers. If we can have that all of us all you can mobilize like that and choose one leader, a good leader that that can lead us to to, to, to a better place. We will all do that. Certainly. But this is what happens because tribalism, religionism has have separate everything in terms of when it comes to election now. You see some, some youth following this path, some youth following this path. It doesn't go this way. We all know the truth. We all know what is going in this country. And this is really affecting us in our society, in our country, in Nigeria. This is really affecting us. Look at the cultural system. Look at this. It has been striked. You have been so that the family moves now. When the government have not been able to do anything particularly that. Oh. This is not time for us to be a better leader that will be a value education. Oh. A leader that knows what education is all about. Oh. Not a leader that, that, that will talk about 
not education. Why is children as well? Only the uh, UK population has been why the poor back is there. That is glamorous for them to come back into power. Their, their children is on strike. At that time, I, 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 when I think we're talking about politics, because I don't want to mention any politician uh, name or something, when I think we're talking glamorous for this kind of people, ah, this person has trying to come back. Where are his children? Where, where, where are they putting the children? But look at you, where are the children? The children are told. The striker is as good. Well. They cannot even, even think of what to do for their children. Why their children have this? This country is really messed up, okay? Really, we, need, we need a better leader, a good leader that knows the value of education, a good leader that school in Nigeria, a good leader that knows what it takes for somebody, what, what the value of the BSC, the value of the the value of the, a, a, a certificate, to know the value sir. That's why I can put it in the Thank, thank you very much, Mr. Richard. Thank you.